Hey, welcome back to the course. In this lecture, I will show you how you can add variables to the uh, watch window and also I'll show you how you can control uh, the LEDs using the IO view of the Atmos Studio. All right. So we were having this code in the previous lecture. So let's continue with that. And here you can see there is a variable called counter. Okay, so this is just a, a global variable. All right, so I'm just incrementing. So there is no uh, special significance to this increment. I'm just incrementing this variable. All right. So to watch this variable, what you have to do is uh, you have to select this variable. All right, and then right click after that click add watch all right so the moment you do that your watch window will appear at the bottom and here you can see the counter variable is getting added multiple times all right so this was my previous addition so so what you can do is you can click here okay uh, right click and say clear all okay so now the watch window is cleared then you can select this and you can select add watch all right so here you can see the counter variable is added to the watch window and its value is currently zero all right so now let's run through the code a couple of times and uh, and then you can see the counter value being increased all right so let me keep a breakpoint over here and let's run until here all right now still the counter value is zero because we halted here all right so now let me keep a breakpoint here and remove this breakpoint then again click uh, continue all right so here you can see the counter variable is now uh, showing the value one now let's remove this breakpoint and then run so now when you stop okay so that is using this button so now when you stop you can see that the current value of the counter that is this number all right so now run stop okay all right so that's how you can add uh, the variables to the watch window you can add any type of variable all right so for example currently our code is halted here so let's add this variable so this is a pointer of the type pio so to add this click here and after that click add watch all right so now this structure is added to the watch window and as i said uh, this is nothing but a pointer variable uh, to this structure type all right and here you can see the value of uh, this pointer is this one okay so that means this pointer is currently holding this value all right so you can even expand that pointer okay here you can see uh, these are all the member elements okay of this structure all right so and it is also showing the values of its member elements so you can click on this structure and then click you can right click on this structure then click on go to implementation okay so this structure is defined here all right so here you can see the pio is a huge structure all right so it actually uh, list out all the uh, pio hardware registers this is pio means port io all right so this is the io enabled register this is a disabled register this is a status register and etc okay so so let's go back so using this watch window basically you can trace out the real time values of all the member elements of the structure at this point all right so in this video we learned about adding variables to the watch window now in the next video we will learn about the io view of the uh, atmel studio through io view you can access each and every register uh, of the microcontroller and you can even control your peripheral through IO view. Let's see how it's done in the next video.